everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. Hi. To the Safer Communities Workshop Series with Life Lessons. My name is Patricia, and I'm here with Derek, our fellow co-host, facilitator. Sorry, Derek. Um, <laughs> and we have Stevie beside Derek. Hi. And we have Jaden and Amin. Can you say hey? And I can see Danielle there. Danielle. Hi. Perfect, perfect um picture and perfect sound quality, Danielle. Keep it. That's the way it has to be for the rest of the show. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Julian. Hey there. And of course, Sierra. Hi. Excellent. We may have a few visitors pop in in a few minutes throughout the show, but please um, continue listening and thank you for joining us today. So today we are going to get together and we are going to be talking about something that I don't think a lot of people really talk about very often. And that is yelling. I know it's a little bit strange. But when do you yell? When is it okay to yell? What are times when you yell and you're like, it's okay to yell? I guess it's some sports show when our team wins. Okay, so when you win. Okay. Um, Sierra, when's another time that you may yell for a good reason? Um, for good reason you yell if if you get if you get if some if you bump if you hurt something your body and you yeah and you can't throw it oh yeah that's yeah such a good one I didn't think of that one Sierra that's why we do this in a group you know because we have all these ideas Danielle when else may you yell for a good reason um if you get hurt yes okay excellent. Okay, or if you're a little bit scared, you know, one yeah. time. Or being attacked. Oh, amazing for safety. Wow. Well done. Well done. Okay. One time um, I yelled at my children. And that was actually one in particular, my oldest daughter, Elise. She was about three years old. We were at Longo's and we were crossing the parking lot and the cashier had given each of the girls a little lollipop and we were walking 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 lots of cars all over the place Elise just let go of my hand because her lollipop fell to the floor and she went down to pick it up and I got so scared that I yelled stop really loudly and she just kind of went, ah, and then she started crying because she'd never really heard my voice being that loud. And she was a bit scared too, but I kind of needed her to just stop right in her tracks. So sometimes you also will yell for hopefully a good reason if you're scared that somebody is in danger and you want to maybe warn them about something. Okay. Today we're talking, oh, yes, Stevie. Rock concert. Oh, rock concerts. Yes, yes. Okay, so there are a lot of positive ways that we may yell, but what we're talking about today is when we yell or when you hear somebody yell because they're frustrated. Okay, and I, when I was doing some research about yelling and frustration, I learned that yelling is a learned behavior, okay? If you see other people using yelling as a way to respond to a frustrating situation, chances are you're going to think that maybe that strategy is okay. Yeah. Right? And when would a person, when would you, when would you hear somebody yelling out of frustration? Well, I heard if they're angry at someone. Okay, angry, yes. Yeah, it's in your upbringing. Yeah, or you're even around people that yell, you know? Um, Amen. 
Have you heard somebody yell when they're frustrated before? I know Danielle said she has. When else may somebody, I'm going to let you hold, get your sound properly, Amon, okay? But um, I'm going to ask Jaden. Jaden, when would somebody yell out of frustration? Traffic. Okay. Yes. Okay. What's that called? Road rage. Okay. Sometimes, and it happens a lot, people make poor decisions driving, and you're like, what the? Right? Okay. Yes. Good one, Jaden. Good one. Stevie, what do you think someone may yell out of frustration? When when they're not sure about something. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. okay, so you're feeling a little frustrated with yourself and you're not sure about something. So your voice get, or somebody's not understanding what you're saying, the way that you want them to understand. You're like, but, but, but. And then you're like, oops, not the best approach, right? Because when somebody yells, what will happen to the other person who's being yelled at? They'll cry. Yeah, they're going to get really startled and they're going to probably start feeling a little bit of that frustration and that anger and all that not also, so fun stuff. Also, another one is if, if your parents or somebody is yelling really loud, that means you're not listening to them. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know but what if that? your parent yells at you, that means you're not listening. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. They're really, or I guess maybe even if, when your parent is raising their voice, they think it's something very, 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 very important. Right? Right. Especially if they don't do it all the time. You know, there's some people that kind of their voice is kind of a yelling kind of loud voice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few people like that. And I'm like, holy moly, they're very loud. <laughs> and some people have a little bit of a lower tone way of communicating, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm not here to practice a calm voice. Do one of you guys want to show us, demonstrate what a yelling voice sounds like? We're going to be practicing, stop that, in a yelling voice. Who can who can demonstrate for our viewers what a yelling voice? Uh, well, okay, Stevie, you're going to do it. Do it. One, two, stop three. That. Excellent. Excellent. Who wants to try as well? Go. One. Stop two. that. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Now. Can somebody try demonstrating to us what a calm voice, saying stop that in a calm voice is? Hey, stop that. Perfect. Jaden, do you want to try? Stop that. Perfect. Okay. You know what I love about the way that you said it as well, Jaden? Julian, you did a great calm voice too. But because of the words that we're saying, using the phrase we're using, stop that, it means you want someone to stop. Okay. And what I liked about what Jaden did when he said stop that, it was calm, but it was very firm, okay? And when you want somebody to stop something for safety. You should you listen. Want, pardon? You want them you to listen. You should listen. Yes, Stevie? You should. What? Oh, sorry, Derek? Yeah, I was going to say, and Jaden, and I don't even know if he noticed it, but he said stop. He paused a bit and then said that. So it could be that Jaden might point, like, and but it allows the listener time to really stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job, Jaden and others. Yes. So you know what? I've still got a little bit left, but I feel, Derek, that you're going to be covering some of these strategies in your part. So I'm going to pass the baton to you and I'm going to just. Do a cheat sheet over here when you're telling me all the answers. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Patricia. Hello, Life Lesson co host. Hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, Hi. Okay. When, and viewers, when you least think that Derek, that would be me, 
uh, has run out of books to share with you. <laughs> again, think again, because I went <laughs> to my vault. All right. I want you, Life Lessons co-hosts and viewers out there, to repeat after me. Slurp a doodle. Slurp a doodle. Slurp a doodle. Slurp -a -doodle. Slurp -a -doodle. <laughs> and again, slurp a doodle. Slurp -a -doodle. Slurp -a -doodle. Slurp -a doodle. All right. It's a long word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About eleven or twelve letters in it. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna introduce you to our new friend. Are you ready? <laughs> Isabella. But Isabella, Stevie, and other co-hosts, is so loud, so loud that they have a nickname for her. Now, viewers, if you remember, there's another book, and they called him Soda Pop Head, but that's for something else. Isabella oh. is so loud. Are you ready? They call her Decibella. <laughs> Decibella. <laughs> I mean, she's got great teeth, great tongue, but she's so loud. She's so loud at the most inappropriate places, co-hosts. You see, she loves using her loud voice so much. Well, everybody calls her Decibella. Decibella. Highly, re highly recommend the other Julia Cook book, by the way. <laughs> But that's not a nickname to brag about, right? I mean, yelling, there are other ways to get around it. She's so loud, she interrupts class and irritates others. She doesn't know how or when to use softer, quieter voice until her teacher, gotta love teachers, introduces her to, can I see five fingers? five volumes of voice. She helps K to sixth grader. You know. Yeah. You see, there are five volumes. So can I have a number one? And repeat after me. Six inch. Six inch. Six, six, inch. six, inch. six inch. There's your six inch voice when you're working mm -hmm. in a partnership with someone, right? That's a six inch voice. Number two, show me two fingers. There's a whisper voice. Can I say oh, whisper? Whisper voice. Whisper. Thank you. Can I get a number three? Number three. Yeah. Repeat after me. Table talk. Table, table talk. talk. Yeah, so you're at a table. You could be having dinner. You could be working at school. Table talk. Oh, Jaden. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. And then there is strong speaker. So number four, show me number four and say strong speaker. Strong, strong speaker. speaker. Right. And that's when you are like, well, you're giving a speech, right? Right. And number five, show me your four fingers and your thumb, five. And repeat after <laughs> me, outside. 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 Yeah, there's your outside voice, right? So her teacher, Isabella, not Decibella, because I don't think she likes to be called Decibella, but she taught her how to use different voices at the appropriate time. So Julia Cook, Decibella. Okay, I want to hear about your voice. Um, I want you to think about yelling, okay? And I would like you, with a piece of paper, as always, if you can, and viewers outside, you can get a piece of paper. You fold it in half and you draw a line down the center, okay? And on one side, you're going to draw what your face like looks like when it's yelling, maybe like this. And then on the other side, what do you think I'm going to draw? Look at my face. What type of face is that? It's not a yelling face. Angry. It's 
That's a calm face. A calm face. Thank you, Danielle. So can I have you draw your yelling face? What makes you want to? And then your calm face. Draw words around it. That makes you calm. Viewers and Life Lessons co-hosts. I'll give you and Stevie because, well, he's eager. He's already done his. So <laughs> yours and co-hosts, lying down the center, drawing of yourself, yelling, and why you would yell, and maybe ways not to yell, and a calm. Thank you, Danielle. Your calm face and what makes you calm. And it's really important to know what makes you calm. And really what makes you yell, right? Because mm -hmm. if there are things that make you want to yell, do you want to be around them? I always say to my students, if that person is like a mosquito, what do you do? <laughs> I go away from mosquitoes. Then don't be with that person. Anyway, that's the <laughs> story. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Stevie's going to go first. Are you okay to go first? Yeah. Okay. Stevie drew himself. Um, here is his drawing of Stevie. Oh. Yeah. And you got the facial hair there, buddy. Good one. Okay. What have you got here? Loud noises. Yeah, loud noises. And this one, maybe you can relate to it, viewers and Life Lesson co-hosts. Baby's crying. Baby's crying. Mm. Now, I don't want to speak on your behalf, but this time I will. Stevie, when he goes to his barbers, he said to the barber, right? Can you please make sure there are no babies allowed in here? Because I don't like babies that cry, right? <laughs> so, you know, the barber said, I don't know if I can do that for you, Stevie. Can I flip it Why over? Babies cry. Well, uh, you know, there are many things. Uh, yeah, also yeah. on the plane, there you could be airlines. It bothered me. Yeah, it bo it, yeah, airplane sounds. Okay, and this is Stevie. He's put on a bit of weight, it looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but what makes you oh, nice yeah. and calm? Soft music. Soft music. And what is this? Waves from the ocean. I know one. Okay. Excellent. Danielle, we're going to go straight to you now. I know one. Mindfulness. Is that what keeps you calm? Yeah. All right. Excellent. And what makes you yell sometimes, Danielle? Um, being scared or unsafe. Okay. Great. Thank you. Who's next? And I noticed, hey, by the way, the Patricia gave you a thumbs up and that's good. Hey, eh? oh, Tejon. Oh, uh, Tejon. Yeah, Tejon's here. Great, 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 great. All right. Um, let's go to Jaden. You want to talk about yelling or being calm? Yelling. Yelling. What makes you want to yell? Being excited. Excited. And where do you get excited? The vacation. Ooh, vacation. Maybe down to Kingston. Florida. Florida. <laughs> okay, great. And and that's funny because that's interesting. <laughs> you could yell and be excited. And yet when you're down there, Jaden, if you don't mind me asking, are you also calm? Like uh, may, maybe by the ocean in Florida? No. No. Okay. You like, but you know what? I hear there's roller coasters down there. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. I was there. You were there. Did you yell? No. Okay, you're a veteran. All right, Julian, do you have any um, examples about you yourself yelling or, or being calm? Go ahead, sir. Here's a photo. Okay. Oh, your hair's standing up. <laughs> Tell us about it. Um, so I can help him cheering. And who are you cheering for? Like, like if some sports show, if we scored. Austin Matthews. Yeah, I got a Mitch Marner jersey. Ooh, uh, gotta love the Leafs. And what makes you calm, Julian? Probably hugging. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, nice, nice. 
I like but that. I don't. I mean, it's never too old to hug a teddy bear. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> On that note, Sierra, it's all yours. What makes you yell, Sierra? <laughs> um, if I lose something, I I I yell. Where is it? Ah. I yeah. I've been there. I can relate. And what makes you calm, Sierra? Um. I tell myself if I lose something, just to calm myself down, just think where you're, where you, where you put it last. Yeah, look for it. Yeah, retrace your steps. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Sierra. You're welcome. And Amen. When do you? Pardon me, everybody. Amen. When do you yell, or when are you excited, Amen? Or when are you calm? Okay. Well, we can wait. I don't know. Maybe he's in the chat. We'll get his audio. Um, Tejan, welcome. We're talking about yelling and what we we yell about. Um, our friend. Oh, for me, Tejan, can I just share here? I've got here's me, right? And uh, there's banging. Construction makes me yell, right? Especially if it's construction that just keeps going on and on like and what? on. Like what? Right? Construction <laughs> under what? Construction, building something, but. <laughs> and I got a quite a haircut here, I guess. Well, anyways, <laughs> um, hiking and running really make me calm. So if I'm uptight in that, I might even ask my buddy Stevie here if we can go for a long. Those are awesome. Those are great, man. Those are well, really th good. Thank you. Okay. Well, Tejan, what about you? What what uh, what 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 really riles or stokes you up that makes you want to yell, sir? That's a great question for me. Uh, by the way, um. Good to see you guys. I hope you guys had a, a good day yesterday with the workshop. Uh, the past two days, I've been busy with school and uh, also learning about chess recently. It's been very exciting. And today, honestly, was the best day of my life in a while. And it's been the first time in a while since I was actually excited about anything involving school. But uh, anyways, um, uh, to answer your question, Derek, um, for me, it's when I had those episodes, days when I was very depressed and especially when I had to leave, you know, that group you were in, in the yes. past, um, that caused me a lot of like stress and anxiety and depression. And I had days where I flipped out and like family and for giving me like some advice. And I, even for me, forgetting some stuff, like last month, if I got to do um, a household chore back in the basement and my mom was telling me that, and I kind of took it too personally. I took it as a personal attack and I, I, me and her had like an argument and uh, we said some things we didn't actually mean to say, but we, uh, sure. we, uh, the day after we forgave each other and, you know, it happens. Every family is dysfunctional. So that's an example. I'm usually not a competitional person. And uh, yeah, in terms of being ex excited, um, today I've been really excited. I was actually learning about stuff in school and I see, um, I'm, I started tutoring just uh, the oh. other day. That's been exciting and just getting that rolling with schoolwork and uh also learning more about chess recently i've made some new friends and this one guy um israel he's a new mentor of mine and just learning about that uh learning new hobbies and challenges just it makes me really excited and it's actually something i'm interested in it's not something that it's boring so yeah <laughs> all right well tejan congratulations and we're just so blessed to have you on our team here as we are with everyone um, just remember, and Tejan, I don't know if you were here, but a quick review, Decibella, check out that book, okay? Oh, okay. yeah, there's another book, actually, I got from the job fair yesterday. It's about um, identity, the identity <coughs> manual. I got it from one of the presenters there, because he's actually a best-selling author. His name is uh, Franklin H. Izenwa. He's a Nigerian. Um, oh, he signed his autograph for me, too. He said, uh... Tejan, I wish you all the best with school and life. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I read it. I read a little bit of it this morning, and it's a really great book. If any of you are having issues with, you know, self discovery, I highly recommend it. I haven't finished it, but it's a really short book, only 116 pages, and it's on Amazon. It's only like 15 bucks or something. So, yeah. Um, oh, by, hey, by the way, sorry to get off topic, um, but I have uh, the schedule for uh, the showcase if you and stevie and his mom need like any help with that i could give no you a worries party. no worries that that's something we uh encourage people to do
But Tejan, I'm only joking. It's like you're taking my job away from me, yeah. buddy. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Thank so I've been you. Yeah. You, man. I'm just so excited. Thank so you for sharing the book. No worries. No worries. And, and you know what? I feel as though I'm been a mentor to you, my friend. Yeah, thank you, man. I'm just learning from you guys and just trying to, you know, help people. That's, that's what, what we can do. do. That's what we do yeah. on this. And you know what, viewers, we learn from you. You're learning from us. That's what Life Lessons is all about. Patricia, oh, that's for it. For sure. I'm going to actually wrap things up a little bit because it is time for us to, um, we're trying to keep our workshops a little bit condensed. But you know what? What you said, Tejan, was a perfect, perfect conclusion to this whole topic about just yelling and frustration and, you know, just keeping it real. And what I loved about what you said with that um, disagreement that you had with your mom was how you and your mom were able to go back to the table and sort things out. So um, I think it's so important when you feel yourself getting frustrated and getting into that uncontrolled state that you try and remove yourself from the situation, do something that kind of will bring you down, hopefully by yourself, okay? So that you can just be the way that you need to be. And then when you're ready, go back to the table and come up with some kind of compromise or agree to disagree, okay? Exactly, well, you, the way you worded that was brilliant. Is. I completely agree. I agree 100% with that. And listening to music or talking to someone you know about it, you know, family and friends, that helps too. It's helped me many times in the past, so yeah, I agree. And I'm grateful for being here with all you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm going it. to leave it at that because that's a perfect way to end this particular workshop. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And we're going to look forward to joining us on our next workshop. So have an awesome day. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.